Welcome to the Hearthcommist Everything Hearthstone and Yu-Gi-Oh! Today I'm bringing you an unboxing for the new structure deck which is Sacred Beasts. I've heard it so far it's not too too competitive to be honest. Um, the requirements to uh, summoning all of the Sacred Beasts is a little bit tough. Uh, this uh, structure deck tries to forego the requirements for these monsters, you generally, for Raviel, you have to sacrifice or tribute three um, fiend monsters. For uh, Haman, you have to tribute three continuous spells. And for Uria, you have to uh, tribute or send three continuous traps. So there's these new monsters that basically go over that um and again it's more of a fun deck i'm not too much into com competitive i always like the sacred beast if i were to be honest i would have preferred this structure deck to be more in regards to the egyptian god cards but this is as close as i think we'll get at least for quite a few years so let's go ahead as you can see i do have triple I will be making a video later on, making a deck profile as best as possible with, I can, with what I have, and maybe adding a few cards. I'm really not intending on making it super, super competitive, so it's might going to maybe be a budget version. I'm going to try it on Edo Pro just to see how it works. I'm not <laughs> expecting too much from it, but hey. It's a fun deck. It's a little bit of nostalgia, to be honest. And let's go ahead and start with the opening of the structure deck. I'm only going to open one right now. I'm waiting for my uh, card sleeves. I only have a few right now, so I'm only going to be sleeving the um, foil cards. I think I have enough sleeves for that. So let me just open this up real quick. I'm trying to not damage the box too much, but if it's not possible, then it's not possible, which seems to be the case right now. Okay. All right. So it was close enough. Okay. So let me just pull this out. All right. That is it. So here are the contents. Huh, there's not a guide anymore. Or a beginner's guide. So it seems you get the classic uh, paper mat. Oh, so you can play the cards. I don't think I'm going to be able to show it completely. I have a very uh, short amount of space here. Um, should be working on that soon. But I will show it by sections. So these are the retrains, uh, the effect monster, the um, continuous spell, and the um, trap. So it tells you a little bit about the cards, um, the card list. Yeah, I'm just a little bit surprised that it doesn't come with anything else. I mean, it does tell you uh, how you can... A power up your deck with a 2019 gold sarcophagus. I did get this and I do have one Nibiru. I might be getting two later. It also talk, talks to you about the danger monsters, um, Pot of Avarice, uh, Allure of Darkness, Instant Fusion, all of which I do have. But thanks to uh, the structure deck that, that I also got not too long ago of the Shadals. Um, tells you a little bit of Chaos Impact, Rising Rampage, um, and overall it tells you about the strategy. Um, again, I do apologize if I can't show it completely. Should be getting a tripod if I'm intending to do these, but again, it's more of a hobby, so if you think I should, I'll just get it eventually. All right. So, here is the deck itself. Let me just get it, get it out of the um, wrapping. Hmm. OK. 
okay. Sometimes it has a little bit tough to find it. It's a little strip around and I don't want to damage the cards. Okay, might take a few seconds. Sorry about that. That's odd for this one, I'm not. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to open it from the top, I suppose. Okay, just have to be a bit, little bit careful so not to damage them from the edges. Okay, I think I got it perfect. Alright, so I'm going to be showing the foils and sleeving them up so they don't curl too much. So the first one is Raviel, Lord of Phantasm, Shimmering Scraper. And its effect cannot be normal summoned or set. Uh, must be special summoned from your hand by tributing three monsters. You can only use uh, each of the following effects of Raviel, Lord of Phantasm, uh, Shimmering Scraper once per turn. A uh, quick effect, you can discard this card and target one Revia Lord of Phantasm. You can control for the rest of this turn. Its attack becomes double its current attack. Also, it can attack all monsters from your opponent controls once each. If this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute one monster. Add this card to your hand. Okay, so it's kind of like a hand trap. I believe its intention is to use it as a, a one turn kill think it works okay mm. again I need to learn a little bit more on how it works by trying it on Edo Pro or Yu-Gi-Oh Pro we have the classics um, Uria Lord of Searing Flames which its original intention was to again re reflect um, the um, the gods from Yu-Gi-Oh, the Egyptian gods. At that time, they were unreleased. So that was the closest thing we ever, well, we got at that point. Um, because now the gods are obviously released and they're not as good. So I was really hoping to get a structure, that, a structure deck uh, with that. But it seems that's not going to happen soon. Okay, so here's... Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. And we also get the fusion, Army Tail, um, the Chaos Phantasm right over here. So all of these are foils. Uh, what I really like is that they uh, really are upping their game in that uh, regards. That they are providing a lot more foils for the same price. And they're Pretty decent reprints, um, not too too many, but decent enough. So these this is one of the new cards to special salmon, uh, Haman Lord of Striking Thunder. Use its own procedure. Uh, you can also use face down spells you control once per turn while you control an attack position. Haman Lord of Striking uh, Thunder. You can negate any spell trap effect activated by your opponent then change one Haman Lord of Striking Thunder you control to defense position if a face up Uria uh, Lord of Searing Flames um, let's see uh, Haman Lord of Striking Thunder or Rebiel Lord of Phantasm you control leaves the field you take no damage this turn okay Sorry about that. It's a, quite a little bit of text here. And I think I still have, yeah, one more to put it over here. Hyper Blaze, another of the new cards. To Special Summon Uria, Lord of Searing Flames, using its own procedure, you can also use face down traps you control. 
Once per battle, when an attack is declared involving your area, Lord of Flames, you can send face-up trap on the field and in the graveyard times a thousand for the rest of the turn. Once per turn, you can discard one card, add to your hand or special summon one Uria, Lord of Searing Flames, Hammond, Lord of Striking Thunder, or Revia, Lord of Phantasms from your graveyard, ignoring summoning condition. So it seems from here, from what I've seen, ignoring its summoning condition is as long as you previously um, special summon them correctly. So if you cheated them out, you're not going to be using, be able to use that effect. Okay. And there's another one. Dimension Fusion Destruction. Pretty cool art, to be honest. Banish from your hand, field, and or graveyard the fusion materials that are listed on a Phantasm Fusion Monster. Then special summon that fusion monster from your extra deck. Ignore its summoning conditions. You take no battle damage from attacks involving the monster special summoned by this effect. If you control Uria, Lord of the Searing Flames, Haman, uh, Haman, Lord of the Striking Thunder, or Roviel, Lord of Phantasms, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. Okay. There we go. Those were all the foils. So, I believe there were seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So, there were eight. Mm hmm. Yeah, right. Okay, so we got eight, and we still have a few new cards. I believe Chaos Core is a new card. That's quite a bit of text. Uh, okay, when uh, either player activates a card or effect that targets this card, or when your opponent monster targets it for an attack, quick effect, you can send up to one each of Uriel, Lord of Searing Flades, Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder, and Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, from your hand and or deck to the graveyard and if you do place one phantasm counter on this card for each card sent to the graveyard and if you place at least one um, you take no battle damage this turn you can only use this effect of chaos core once per turn if this card would be destroyed by battle or card effect you can remove one phantasm uh, counter from this card instead so pretty good uh, card. I see, it seems that this is one of your combo starters in um, combination with Dark Beckoning Beast, which is another new card, level 2 Fiend. When this card is normal summon, you can add one Uriel, Lord of Syrian Flames, Hamon, Lord of Striking Thunder, or Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, or one card that specifically lists any of those cards in its text. From your, great, from your deck to your hand, except Dark Beckoning Beast, you can only use this effect of Dark Beckoning Beast once per turn. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Fiend Monster with zero attack defense in addition to your normal summon or set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. Okay, and I think that this one is also a new card, which is a Chaos Summoning Beast. You can tribute this card, a uh, special summon one Uria, Lord of Searing Flames. Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder, or Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Fallen Paradise from your deck to your hand. You can only use uh, each effect Chaos Beckoning, sorry, Chaos Summoning Beast once per turn. So that's a pretty good effect of all of these, and it's one, two, three on the levels. Um, so let's look for the, le the rest. I believe all the other cards have already been there before so dark summoning beast which again also helps you with your strategy to special summon the the um uh, sacred beasts um we have phantom of chaos phantom sky blaster mad reloader which don't think these are too great of cards grave squirmer uh rainbow dark dragon which again you do have dark card but i don't think it's really helps you chew too much. Uh, Trogoidia, uh, Radian, the multi-dimensional multi kaiju. 
Chaos Hunter, Puppet Master, uh, Sijun, uh, Street Patrol, Farfa, Mall Branch of the Burning Abyss, the uh, Fabled Cer Cerberal, Danger Chupacabra, Opening of the Spirit Gates. Actually, this is another new card. So it's a continuous uh, spell card. It's when this card, sorry, I'll just, there we go. When this card is activated, add one Uria, Lord of the Searing Flames, Amon, Lord of Striking Thunder, or Riviel, Lord of Phantasms, um, or one monster that specifically lists any of those cards in its text from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, you can discard uh, your... You can discard one card, special summon one fiend monster with zero attack defense from your graveyard once per turn. If you control a level 10 monster, you can uh, add one continuous spell from your graveyard to your hand. You can only activate one opening of the spirit gates um, per turn. So I think that that card is one of the bases uh, to have in your deck. You should have three of those. Um, so let me just go ahead and see if there's anything else that is new. I don't think so. Fall Fallen Paradise, that's a great card. I believe it was released as a secret originally. Uh, Phantasmal, Phantasmal uh, Martyrs, which I don't think you would use. Spell Chronicle again. Terraforming, I mean, you might, um, Fallen Paradise, you might want to run it two, maybe three. Set Rotation, uh, Mound of the Bound Creator, I think that this card you might want to one, uh, run at one, but uh, Fallen Paradise is better than Mound of the Bound Creator. One for one, great card, the beginning of the end. Um, I mean, I'm not, not sure how many Dark Monsters you would have in your graveyard regularly. Uh, I think it would be a tough condition to meet. Um, because that's really not the strategy of this deck as far as I'm aware. Uh, Pot of Desires, great reprint. Owner's Seal, not sure what's, why it's there. I mean, other than the Kaiju. Field Barrier, I really don't think that it's worth to run that card. Swords of Concealing Light. Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, oh, here's a new card too. That's the one that I had forgotten. So it's Awakening of the Sacred Beasts. This card gains these effects based on the number of Uria, Lord of the Searing Flames, Haman, Lord of the Striking Thunder, and Orovia, Lord of Phantasms, with different names you control. So if you have one, each time your opponent normal or special summons a monster, gain life point equal to the attack of that monster. If you have two or more, uh, negate the... Um, Activated effects of monsters your opponent controls. And if you have three, any monsters sent to your opponent's graveyard are banished instead. Once per turn, if you control a level 10 monster, you can add one continuous trap from your graveyard to your hand. So generally, you would want to have two um, monsters to have it as a skill drain. Uh, One-sided skill drain, so that's good. Um, gaining life points, I, I mean... I think that's okay, <laughs> but it really isn't that important for the most part. Uh, the rest is Escape from the Dark Dimension, Shape Sister, Imperial Custom, Mistake, Dark Factory of uh, More Production, Phantasm Emperor uh, Trilogig, uh, Phantasmal Martyr Token, Phantasmal Phantasm Token, and that's it. The rest is just kind of a dual links type of thing. Not too much of a fan of dual links. But hey, I mean, that looks cool. And for Legacy of the Duelist. Okay, so that was the unboxing. Again, once I get my... Um, once I get my uh, sleeves, I'll try to get something out. Hopefully it's... Um, I can make something of it i really bought it more because it's a retro card and having all those ultra cards um 
more of a nostalgic feeling. I'll try it out again in Nato Pro. I really don't have too much confidence that it's, it's a great deck. But, I mean, still, it's pretty fun. Hopefully there, there, will, there, will, there will be more support in the future. I know that there is a new uh, fusion of uh, Army Tile coming up soon. Which, um, I mean, it doesn't look too impressive, at least nowadays. Have to wait to the end phase, and then it banishes. You give it to your opponent, and then it banishes all of their cards, which is good, but it it would be better or useful if it were able to do it immediately instead of waiting until the end phase. But hey, if you like the video, please leave a like, um, comment, subscribe. And I will be talking to you guys soon. Thank you.